Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, May 14th, 2021, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk about one of our math techniques. We have uh, a few different math techniques that are in the Perfect Storm book along with the astrological stuff. Uh, this one I want to show you is based on uh, some very simple trig math. What you can do is take two swings. Here I've marked the two swings I use for measuring. I call them swing one and swing two. They're marked by the blue trend line coming down. It's the swing down is swing one. The swing back up is swing two. So when I know what two swings are, after the third uh, swing starts, when that pivot is identified, we can make the projection for swing three. So I have, uh, these are the result of the measuring tool here, the ruler tool on Ninja. I have a 16 bar down, 27 and a half point move down is swing one. The swing back up is 16 bars and 19 and three quarter points. So I use those to mathematically calculate the price and time for the swing down. So my calculation for the swing down was 22 bars. You can see from the third box on the right here that the actual swing itself was 21 bars down. So I caught that low within one bar. And then the uh, price projection that I had for that was 33 and a half points. You can see here that the Y value, which is the price value, was 34 points. So my calculation was within a half a point of that. So price was within one bar. I'm, I'm sorry, price was within a half a point and the time was within one bar. So along with that, there are some other things you can do, which I haven't talked about on these videos before, but you can also calculate some angles. So one of the angles that I was able to calculate was this angle here, this blue line coming down. By drawing that line ahead of time, the uh, actual time and price and the swing came together and bounced right off of that angle. So this is really all just based on really simple math. There's nothing hard about it. You can do it with your uh, basic function of your computer calculator. So that's it for today. We took a look at the uh, trig math. Tomorrow I'll show you uh, an example using another mathematical calculation that's in the book. So we'll be back again on Saturday with another video. We'll talk to you then.